In this video, I'm going to show you how you can go from ordinary rocks that look like this to really beautiful looking gemstones that look like this using nothing but this. And the entire process only takes about 30 days. This is a complete review of the National Geographic Rock Tumbler that can do three things really well. Number one is it can supplement the science education for your students or kids at home. And number two is it can make an excellent birthday gift or Christmas present. And number three, and for some most importantly, it can actually save you money or at the very least pay for itself. And I'll show you how it can do that in just a few minutes. If you're not familiar with rock tumbling, it's basically the process of polishing and smoothing minerals in a rock tumbler just like this. You can use ordinary rocks around your house, rocks that you might get if you find yourself gem mining, or you can even order some rocks and gems online. And if you're lucky, you might even end up with a tiger's eye that's a gem that actually changes hue and color as light moves around it. That's definitely a characteristic of a gem that I didn't know existed before getting involved with tumbling myself. When you purchase the tumbler from National Geographic, you'll get the tumbler itself, the rock barrel, a strainer, grits for different stages, and you're basically good to go. You essentially get everything you need in this one kit to start tumbling your own gemstones right out of the box. The out of the box setup really couldn't be any easier. It comes essentially fully assembled. All you have to do is plug the AC adapter into the back of the tumbler, the other end into the wall, and you're good to go. For this tumbler and the gemstones that were included with it, the instructions recommend four stages. Each stage will use a kit that comes included of different levels of coarseness and fineness. Once the rocks and stage one grid is inside the tumbler, fill it with just enough water to cover the rocks. Then you place it on the tumbler, set it for the desired days, which is generally going to be around seven days, and you're good to go. Traditionally, rock tumbling was performed in metal barrels. Obviously that would be incredibly noisy inside your own home, so they transitioned, just like the National Geographic one here, into a rubber lined barrel. While I do imagine it's much quieter than a metal barrel, it's still loud enough you're going to want to do this in a garage or a covered porch outside. Another benefit to this tumbler is it has a built-in countdown, so it stops automatically at the end of seven days or however long you set it. So once stage one is done, all you have to do is take your gems out, strain them using fresh water, and it's really interesting to see how much things have changed between each stage. Oh, I like this one too. Oh my gosh. This, oh my gosh. This one, is, this one looks like pure gold. Once you're done marbling with the change, you put it back in the tumbler, put more water in it, put stage two grit, which is a little bit finer, and set it on the tumbler for another week. The entire process from start to finish is going to take you around 30 days. So I haven't forgotten at the beginning of the video, I told you how purchasing this rock tumbler can actually make you money or at the very least pay for itself. But first I have to show you what else is included in the box so you'll see what I mean. It comes with the general information pamphlet that not only shows you how to perform each step, it also tells you the likely gems that you're going to be receiving and some interesting facts about each type of gem. Now also included in the box are rings, necklaces, things to make bracelets and earrings, and that's where this can actually pay for itself. Your kids can actually use this to make some pretty interesting jewelry. So instead of going out to Target and wasting 20 or 30 bucks on a gift that your son or daughter's friend may never play with, you can use this to make a bracelet, make some earrings, make some jewelry. My daughter has friends that I know would love to get earrings or rings that have fine gemstones on them, especially ones that change color like the tiger's eye and the like. So again, buying this is great for science education. It's great to potentially create or encourage a new hobby and it pays for itself. There aren't many toys on the market that are gonna do that. The Back to our finished gems. I mentioned the tiger's eye, but we also have rose quartz, amethyst, and many more. I hope you can see on video how cool it is in person to see the hue of the tiger's eye change color depending on how the light is reflecting on it. I gotta tell you, even as somebody who was never really interested in rock tumbling, that alone makes me want to purchase more and do it again. I have one more thing I want to say about the tumbler, but before I do, I also want to talk about this book of rocks and minerals that my wife found for my son. It's a great introductory book that goes real well with the purchase of the tumbler. It has a lot of really cool facts about rock and gemstone formation. It's bright, it's colorful, it's easy to read. If you're thinking about getting the rock tumbler for a first time gift, I highly recommend this to go along with it as a supplement. The last thing I want to say about the tumbler is once you're done, you can go on Amazon and buy new packs of grit, which we have done. You can also go on and get new gemstones shipped to you. So it's definitely not a one and done activity. My son really enjoyed making his gems. He truly looks forward to the end of each stage to see the process. This is definitely a product I feel comfortable recommending. I will link everything that I discussed in the description below. Don't forget to check it out right after you subscribe, and I'll see you next week.